Dani Dani do 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 Yeah guys we're about to take a voyage today yeah right into my uh empty wallet are you guys ready to have a little look at another uh pack of them reaper bones i feel so alone gonna end up a big old pile of them fantasy dinos are you guys ready to get some fantasy dinos in your diet? I know you are. I know you are. And uh, each one is individually wrapped. And on the sprue, just for you. So what I'm going to do is get some glue. Woohoo! And I'll put them together for you. Okay, so this time we'll actually do some assembly. What do you think of that? That could be exciting. Yeah, this set's cool. You know, we got a bunch of these in the Bones 4, if you'll remember. Well, we had the Chronoscope dinosaurs, and we had the Lost Valley dinosaurs. Well, uh, the, now we got Fantasy, and we've got Asian uh, in the Daimyo, Daimyo pack. Daimyo! So that's going to be so cool. So fun. So we'll go ahead and pull one of these open. And assemble it real quick. Let you guys see what's up. Are these bones or bones black? You know what? I want it. These are bones black. So why are they on sprues? That's a first. Since it's in the joint, I'm just going to break it off and uh i don't have the proper tool so we'll use a really sharp knife remember how that worked out for me while i was doing that castle video that was pretty fun i like that man this thing is not very sharp actually and that's how i messed up last time <laughs> and this bones black material is whoo pretty tough pretty tough so there's that okay Bam, we got a head. <laughs> we got a head. Okay, well, luckily, the yeah, all of these are on the joint, looks like, or really close. Oh, that one's not. That one's not. That one we have to be careful with. So we, what I'll do is I'll cut it off way up high, and then uh, we'll uh, file it. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Okay, so... Let's see, that's an L-shaped joint. Bam, we're in. It doesn't want to hold particularly well. So it's not a nice fit, but it's a fit. And, uh, oh, this one's the same way. We're going to have to cut it up high and file it down. Well, we might as well do her on camera. Oh, that actually worked out pretty well. Okay, you go here. Now this is interesting. We've got a cleric on our hands, folks, in chainmail. Well, that's fun. Uh, I know when I'm doing the dino fun, I need a cleric in chainmail. Yep. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead, because this is going to be a bear. I'm going to go ahead and glue these together, come back, and show them off to you guys, okay? We got our cleric, so we're good. You ever notice that when you're playing the D&D &D and you can't get the cleric? Nobody wants to play the cleric? What is up with that? Huh? Tell me in the comments, because I actually enjoy playing clerics, because I think... In, you tell me if I'm wrong. I think they're a bit of a Swiss Army knife of characters. I think uh, the survivability is very nice on a cleric because uh, ultimately when push comes to shove, people are going to protect that cleric. 
And, uh, yeah. Well, anyway, hold that thought. We're going to put this together. All right. All right. So, real quick, we'll have a little how-to session on how to glue these together. Okay. Now, in this case, I'm going to start with this base. Okay. Little super glue that, uh isn't jacked up hold that thought uh, let's see we got poker uh, all right so we're going to start with the base little dab will do you Tab do you? Tab do you? All right, and then you just take the mini and you lock it in. So this is the T. Give me a T. Give me it now. It, you have to hold it tight because this thing. Oh, if you noticed, it didn't go right on. I had to kind of finagle a little bit. Okay, you hold that there a good 10, 15 seconds to get that lock. Okay, should be, I mean, it's not cured or nothing yet, but it shouldn't pop out too easy now. So next, you're going to take, and yeah, put a little dab in that joint. Another way you could go is you could grab the head and put it on the key. You know, either way is fine. This is a little messier though. Because, uh, you know, you're taking more chance of getting it all over the place. Because uh, things tend to stay in holes. And they tend to fall off of things that are protruding. Okay. So really the way to do this is to hit the holes. I've always said that. Just don't over hit them. Dad will do the trick. There we go. All right. And our cleric's going to be in business here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> unless we jack up the situation. On the base, hold that thought. We got a little premature on that base. It's all about that base, about that base. But the glue's gonna get more tacky as we go, so we'll be okay. Just gotta be a little more careful. I got a little, little ahead of myself. A little too excited trying to show it to you guys. You know, it's uh. Not ideal. Not ideal. Usually you'll set this stuff and forget it, you know. Set it, let it dry and cure, and then you start messing with it. But I'm sitting here handling it. And that base was not exactly an easy fit. Okay. We're in. There you go. One mini. Now... I'm going to go ahead and break the rest of these. These are bones black. Okay. They are bones black. Even though they're on sprues, they are bones black. So you'll have nice, good details on them. Hold that thought, and I'll get the rest of them put together. Oh, yeah. I wanted to show off real quick. I got my, I found my snips. I'm not going to do the filing yet. I'll do that one before I paint them, but there you go. Army Painter, the snips. Got these at uh, Card Kingdom. No. Not Card Kingdom. Uh, oh, what is that place? Anyway, I got a bunch of these on sale. Real cheap, like two bucks maybe. And uh, so there you go. Pretty cool. It's Game Castle with a K. Game Castle with a K. That's where I got them. So check it out. Sometimes they have sales. Really nice sales, especially on... Uh, 
items like this. I got so many drills and stuff. It's really cool. Well, real quick, <clears throat> this is our wizard. Um, comes on a lot of sprues here. Um, pterodactyl, maybe? We'll see. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't see any wings, so maybe not. This is this isn't even on the sprue. <laughs> What's the point here? Yeah, you see that <laughs> came right off the sprue. All right, uh, that's the next one. It's uh, this might be dragon bait. Yeah, see, yeah, dragon bait or not dragon bait, but dragon bait. All right. This was quite a few pieces, actually. Quite a lot going on with this one. But, uh, we are assembled. And when I get all of them assembled, we will do a little ruler fun, right? Get some measurements. Look at the joys and the seam lines and all the, the goodness comes with miniature so there's quite a few of them in here yeah we still got one two three four five six more so let me uh keep going all right next up we got one with an axe here let me ask you a question now quick uh little thought thought of the day uh these uh Double-headed axes make no sense. I know they use them a lot for fantasy, but in practice, this weapon would be useless. Well, impractical. I won't say useless. I mean, you'd rather have it than nothing. Unless you're uh, fisticuffs kind of character. So I don't know. This could be an Allosaurus or maybe a T-Rex. Definitely a uh, more of a um, sort of a carnivorous dinosaur. Reminds me of that old show Dino Saucers. Uh, mention, uh, tell me in the comments if you remember that old chestnut. Dino Saucers. What fun. Uh, might have cut that a little close, huh? Yep. Dino saucers. Uh, that came out years ago. And it was not a bad little show. Uh, it was too early in the morning for most people, though. I remember it was like 6 a.m. in the morning. I had to get up extra early to see that. Which was kind of rough. Not for me, I was always up early. I was a, I used to be, believe it or not, a daytime kind of person, yeah. But then working nights for 11 years, we'll change that real quick for you. But uh, I digress. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go. Now we got a nice base to work from here. <laughs> How many parts can we start out with? Huh? Mm -hmm. 
And that just gives you an idea of how, how much work it'll be for you when you go to put your bones together. Yeah. Make sure we got the angle of the dangle right. So we're on a L. Okay, that one's a little long, so easy fix there. I'm going to take our snips and we're going to shorten her down just about couple millimeters. Yep, that should do it. That should do nicely. Bam. There it is, guys. There it is. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. We got another one down. And another one down. Another one down. Another one rides the bus. All right, who's next? You know, I, uh, I've seen this with the regular bones, not with the bones black. So uh, when I was opening these, I assumed they weren't bones black because they were, you know, in bits and pieces. This is our Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus character. So, I'm going to go ahead and put him together and we're going to pause it. And then, yeah, this is taking way too much time and I'm sure you guys are not loving it too much. But you get the idea. This is what you get. It's, it takes a few minutes on each one to put them together. All right. So, there it is. I got a couple problems with this sculpt. One, there's a giant gap there giant gap that I'm going to have to fill in with putty um two um this is attached to the arm which is going to make painting this very difficult so yeah this the shaft of this weapon is attached to the shoulder you see it's actually part of the shoulder. Um, the key and slots on the base are very small. This was a this was a bit of a bear to put together. Um, it's cool. It's a cool model. Nice details. Gonna have to fill that gap. I tried every which way. There's no way to avoid a gap. So I, cho I pe chose my battle and I made sure this side was... But yeah, this is still being a bear. Even with the glue mostly dry. Just because the, the holes in this base are very shallow. Did I sound a little irritated there? All right. Uh, to be fair, uh, though Bones Black holds detail better, I gotta say it's a lot more of a bear to work with as far as assembly than the uh, standard Bones. Um, just my opinion, but that last model was... Uh, Bit of a bugger boo. <coughs> a little bit of a bugger boo. <coughs> it is really cool though. Luckily, our next model is pretty simple. Uh, two piece, three piece model. It's our uh, pterodactyl rogue. All right. There's the 
Just that one. In the mix. Oh boy. We're getting a little motley crew going, aren't we? Alright, next up is our Triceratops. Uh, could be a wizard, could be a sorcerer, I'm not sure which. Alright, and here's our Triceratops Sorcerer. Hmm. Next up. Um, well, another rogue, maybe? Archer? I guess we'll see. A raptor, maybe. Looks like a raptor. Actually, if we're being honest, it looks like a Skeksis from uh, the Dark Crystal. All right, here's our Raptor Archer. Skeksy Archer. All right, and our last, thank goodness, miniature is, okay, a T-Rex, maybe. So the other one must have been like a Allosaurus. This guy. Or uh, maybe that's the raptor. I'm not sure. It could be the raptor. I mean, it could be whatever you want it to be. All right. Here is our... T-Rex with big arms. Let's see how he looks when he's all put together. I gotta say, of the bunch, that was probably the least complex. Yeah, the least uh, involved. So, good times. A lot of details on these, oh, I gotta say. That'd be really good for people who like to dry brush um, and use washes. Um, so, what are we looking at height-wise here? Let's look. Um, this guy's about two inches from his base to the top of that sword is two and a quarter inches about 25 millimeters give or take oh wait i got that backwards that's silly uh what i meant to say was about six millimeters about six millimeters on mr t-rex here Our uh, raptor with the axe is about four millimeters. Or wait. Dang damn it. Yeah. Centimeters. Four centimeters. Six centimeters on T Rex here. Sorry about that. Six centimeters. Four centimeters. And he is about, gotta flip it around, about an inch and a half tall. Okay, and about an inch and a half, a little, little taller, a little taller, yeah, about four and a half centimeters. And about, inch and five eighths tall this one's a little shorter looks like about an inch and three eighths 
inch and three eighths tall. And I keep forgetting I gotta flip this around. About three, right about three centimeters. So a little shorter on that one. Alright. This one's gonna be to the stick about four and three quarters centimeters. So a little taller than most and almost eh. About uh, about an inch and seven eighths on the yeah, it's a pretty good size. This one is about an inch and five eighths tall and about four and a half centimeters four yeah about four and a half centimeters this should be our biggest one uh, not the tallest but definitely the widest about five centimeters tall but uh, definitely a lot wider, a lot bulkier than the others. Um, about one inch and seven eighths tall. So these two are about the same height to the stick there, roughly. But that stegosaurus is much bulkier. And then our Skeksy Archer, he's about an inch and three-eighths tall. Inch and three-eighths tall. He's kind of slouched over if you look. And about three and a half centimeters tall. There we go, guys. Um, very nice model. Yay. We like them. Uh, enjoy the video. I hope you like and subscribe. Uh, tell a friend if they want to see these uh, Bones Minis. Um, if not, that's okay. Um, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. Uh, thanks for watching. May you find all the miniatures of your dreams while you're awake. And uh, I got to fill this gap. It's driving me nuts. So I'll do that and you guys do you. Have an amazing day. Stay safe.